Hi everyone, my name is Krista and welcome to the Gibson Hall live tour. So right now we're standing outside of Gibson Hall and I'm just going to kind of point a couple things that are in this area. So to my left over here is going to be Gregson Hall. Um, the main thing in here is this is where you'll get your packages. So if you live in Gibson, you'll go into Gregson to get your packages and everything. Adam, the admin there will help you with that. And then right across from me is 1021 Food Hall. So you're like literally steps away from eating food. Um, below that is Eureka Pizza and Starbucks. And then to the right of that is going to be Slim's, Sushi with Gusto, and where the Wild Greens are. So a lot of food options literally steps away from you, so that's super convenient. And then also around the corner is the Greek Theater, um, just a big open outdoor space that you can go to and chat with people, study, whatever you like. So it's a kind of a good landmark there as well. Um, behind the camera today, we have Emily. Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm a marketing intern with housing. Um, Please tell us where you're tuning in from. Alrighty, and we can go on and head outside, inside. Alright, welcome inside. This is the main like, lobby area in Gibson. And today we're joined by Joey, who is the CRE for Gibson. Hello, uh, my name is Joey Gavendon, I'm one of the top of the steps. <laughs> uh, my name is Joey Gavendon, I'm one of the coordinators for, coordinators for uh, residence education. Um, I oversee uh, uh, Gibson this past year. I'll actually be transitioning out of this role on the, uh, this coming August uh, for a new series to come into the position uh, while I focus on some other halls. Uh, what basically what a coordinator for residence education does uh, is that we supervise the resident assistants that are in the hall. Um, we also advise the lead hogs for the, that community, um, and we also serve as a conduct officer and help plan programs and everything for the rest of the song. So, yeah, that is what we do. All right, so we'll head up these little stairs here. Here is Gibson's front desk. So, um, like I said, you get packages in the Gregson, but the Gibson desk will be open in the afternoons after four. So, there'll be RAs here to help you with anything um, or after that time if you need it. And then we'll keep going here. So right here's gonna be your mailboxes. So if you have like paper mail or anything like that, it'll come here and you don't have to leave the building to get that. Um, but packages will go to Gregson. And then down here is the laundry room. So you got a couple washers and dryers, the ice machine and a vending machine as well in this space. Tell me the laundry alert app. Oh, yes. So for laundry, we have a laundry alert app so um, you can use that to find out if a laundry um, a washer or dryer is open and you can use it as like a timer or something like that for your laundry um, laundry here is free you don't have to pay for it while housing you're fees. how you paid in your housing fees but when you're using your laundry you don't have to put in coins or anything like that you just need to bring your own detergent for, uh, dryer sheets and things like that to do your laundry no. um, so we have a water fountain here refillable water station Really nice and convenient. If you have your own like reusable cup or something like that, you can just come down here and fill it up. So that's really handy. Um, we have a comment. Someone says, we would like to see room 105 or 205 or 305 at some point, please. Questions about overhead shelves in this room since it's on the end. We're going to the first floor and we can look at 105. All right. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Um, So that's kind of the first floor layout, really, for public spaces. Yeah, there's, no, <laughs> there's not a whole lot on, on the first floor in Gibson. The uh, main thing is the desk and the laundry room. As we head up to the second floor, we're going to see one of the lounge areas, and there's a pretty much identical one on the third floor. There's just less things inside of the third floor lounge area. Here we go. We've got a little kitchen space, stove, microwave, fridge, everything you need. Little TV. And we do a lot of programming in the space that the, the, the RAs do. So they'll have a lot of floor events or um, all hall programs and everything. A lot of the times they use the second floor uh, lounge, the third floor, that as Krista mentioned, um, it's got furniture and tables more it uses as a study space. Uh, it doesn't have a kitchen or anything like that. The third floor is just more of a, a study space. But this one, we do a lot of programming and everything. A lot of students use the kitchen. We had a student do it, a lot of macro rooms and everything like that for the halls, which is really nice. Yeah. 
Um, we got another comment. Someone said, can you please go to room 322 as well? Is it an interior room or a corner room? Yeah, we can all look at those at the end of the tour. Um, so we'll mark those and I'll let you know at the end, okay? So we're gonna head down the hall and check out a bathroom. So there's three bathrooms on each floor except for the first floor. So there's one in the middle and then one on each end. And we're gonna go to a middle bathroom. Here we go, got a nice like big mirror right there. And then these stalls are all like toilet stalls. And then in here we have like the shower. Turn the light on. It's a pretty nice spacious shower. Shower. Got a little bench that you can sit your things down if you want. Um, recommend bringing like a little shower caddy or something like that with all your stuff, and you can just kind of just sit on the bench, do what you gotta do. Um, someone asked, is there one laundry area per floor? No, there's just one laundry room um, down on the first floor. And someone also asked, can curtains be hung using tension rods? That's the suggested, I think, yes. is doing curtain rods. All right. How many people live here, Drake? Yeah, uh, we have about 98 students that live in Gibson. Yeah. Gibson's pretty small. Gibson's probably one of my favorites because it's pretty small. Um, so even though there is one in laundry room, like I said, it's only 98 people. Um, it's probably not going to be a huge issue when you're doing laundry and things like that. We're going into room 226. Yeah. And we will look at 205. I just, I just scouted. Yeah. And someone else had asked to see room 322. Okay. We're going to see on the second floor. Uh, we can go in room 222, which should basically be the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So most of the rooms are going to look like this and have this furniture set up. Um, the cool thing about Gibson is they have sinks in the room. Um, I think only if like Founders also has that, so that's a nice little bonus. You have your sink in your room. Here's the sink with any dimensions. Does every room in Gibson have a sink? Yes. Okay. Very cool. Let's see the closet. And uh, there's the overhead storage if you can reach up there. Yeah, a lot of students use that for like uh, boxes or maybe some like winter clothes, and then they'll take it out when they actually need it. And as Chris was showing all the bathrooms, there is three bathrooms per floor, one of the, um, in the middle part of the floor, and then one in a bathroom at each end of the floors as well. This room is gigantic, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's a big space. It's legit gigantic. Um, feel free to ask any questions you have about dimensions or any features of the room. Oh, someone asked, do the dress, do the desk drawers have a lock? Yes. Yes. These are the side tables, too. You'd have to, you know, bring your own lock, but you can just do it like that. Um, Emer Emery asks, how wide is the window? Um, and Emily asks, will you be stopping at a single room? Yeah, we can show you all a single room. It's, pretty, it's identical. It just has um, one less, obviously, bed, dresser, and desk, and chair. Yeah. Um, Lachey hopped on and said, doing great, Krista. Thanks, Lachey. <laughs> and someone asked, can you please measure the two areas above the closet, in the closet, and the space above the closet? The two areas above the closet. So this overhead storage? The yeah, overhead the and the... I think up there, the best we can do is give you probably the, the length in that direction. Because we can't. I don't know that we can get up in there and get all that. Can you, are you able to, I hold that up, can you get in there? Probably. It might not be super accurate, but. We got 27 inches. Roughly 27 deep. inches. Um, and then she said just the closet itself. The, the, the closet shelf. Oh, top. okay. And that's 13 inches in the top part. And then do we want to do the length? Yeah, let's get the width and it's got all three dimensions. Just that in that top one, it's too hard for us to get up there, but it is big, like it goes back a distance. And then the length is 54 inches. And then we've got 11 inches deep. All right. 
Well, um, we're caught up on the questions, so we can go look at that. We're going to have another room, 222, two, two, I think is what they were mm -hmm. And then a single room. Okay. And then the corner. Yes. Yeah, which so far as I know, they're all in the same direction. So that's... Cool. While, single while we're walking, you know, definitely, uh, uh, um, when you guys get here, we're going to have some awesome programs and everything for you all during eight weeks. So make sure you guys look at that schedule and stuff uh, once you guys get here. Um, we'll have a, awesome, a lot of awesome programs and everything. We actually have an initiative uh, called Pick One um, that you should definitely take a look at. It's a, a, um, a lot of different organizations are going to be put on programs, and you have the opportunity to pick one organization that you're really excited about and go attend it um, and see if it's the right fit for you and get a chance to meet with a lot of other people with similar interests and try to join that organization and stuff. So, so definitely take a look. Pick one.uark.edu. Pick one.uark.edu. Definitely take a look at that. I think this is a single. This is it's an RA room. It was an RA room. So I wasn't sure that one. Yeah. Let's go on down then. To two two two. Speaking of the RAs, though, like during the year, the RAs are going to be putting on lots of programs and things as well. Um, I remember one of the RAs I worked with put on a self defense program on the in the lounge in the third floor. And so since there's less stuff in there, it was a nice like big spacious area to do that. And I learned some my skills to take someone out if they're trying <laughs> to attack me. Um, we're nice. going into room two two two. Uh, was that, that is one. This is a request for someone, right? The one is two 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 oh. single and the one. Yeah. Did the so person who wanted two 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 have any questions? Uh, about someone, I know someone wanted to see two oh five. Did I make that up? I made it made up two two two. I thought. Yeah, I know. Okay. I think they wanted to see two oh five using the portal. Okay. That's what we are now going <laughs> to. Why Where are we going? Single. A little bonus okay. for 222 there. <laughs> Here's a single room. Uh, it's a single room. Here we go. Yeah. Like I said, very similar setup, just no furniture on the other side. And we did get a few questions. Awesome. Um, someone asked, can you please show under the sink storage? How tall, wide, and deep is it? And this is the same in the double rooms, right? Uh, yes. Um, deep, about 28 inches, but the sink's kind of in the way, so it might be a little bit different. And then length is another 28, and it's 22 inches deep. And Hannah asks, do the drawers under the sink open? Nope, um, Someone asked, is an Ethernet cable only needed if you want to bring a TV? You don't have to have an Ethernet cable. You can walk, um, you can just connect to the um, Wi-Fi from the university. I recommend doing an Ethernet cable, especially if you have like a smart TV or something. Um, just because you can get that faster connection when it's wired like that, but you don't have to have an internet cable. You can get wireless, and also we connect through HDMI. Yeah. If you're trying to connect to TV, HDMI is going to be your best. But yeah, for your computer. Yeah. Computer, smart TV, con game, game consoles, or anything like that. If you want like a surefire connection, no issues, you can just get an ethernet cable. That's what I always use just to be safe. Um, Emily asks, can you measure the wall space by the door in the single? So, why not both? So this side is 44 inches. Asks how many outlets are in each room? We strive for between 8 and 12. Let's see how many we actually have in here. It's a single, so then four right here, two more, two right there, six, eight. There's four there. There's two sets of four, it looks like. And then there's two behind the bed. Right. Two behind the bed. So you got lots of outlets. About 10. All right. Um, Someone asked, what is the dimensions above the built-in drawers? So the, the tallest point 
is 17 inches, but it's kind of a little shape here. And the length is 34 inches and 21 inches deep. Um, Emery is asking, are the outlets three prong? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, all across the creek. And she also asks, also, if we put the microwave on top of the dresser, where do we plug it in at? You would not be able to. Yeah. Unless you, you run a cord. You could run it, yeah. Yeah, you could run it to the sink, but I mean, that's kind of, yeah. Yeah, all your cords close right. to water. Yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend that. All right, well, we're currently uh, caught up on questions. Have we looked at all the rooms? I think the corner room. room. The corner room. Thanks for all the great questions. Five, I think it's good. All right, now we're going into 205. The uh, corner rooms are a little bigger. It's got additional window. Um, window care, I guess. Well, I guess until uh, any more questions come in, uh, what do you have to say to the incoming uh, first year students? Spot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think just enjoy your time here, uh, especially people who, you know, their year last year is kind of virtual and not the same. Take advantage of this opportunity, finally getting to be on campus. Um, but I said this um, to some people before, but make sure you take some time for yourself outside of getting your studies done, academics and things like that, even if it's just once a week. Um, it's really easy to just get caught up in like doing school all the time and make sure you have perfect grades and everything. Just do something fun. Whether that's going hammocking, there's so many hammocking spots around here. Or just chilling at the Greek theater, eating a snack or something like that. Um, just take some time for yourself. Super, super important. self gear. And we got one more question. Uh, someone asked, does it have a ceiling fan? Yes. And Every room has a ceiling fan. If I can get it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> All right, well, do you have any closing statements to say? Yeah, um, I just want to say we're excited to have you all here uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, my biggest recommendation is try to get to involve as much as you can to get to know some stu uh, other students here. Um, you guys are here for a degree. We're also here to get to know um, other people, have a fun time, and um, have a good experience. So um, we'll all be doing a lot of programs here, but we also have a couple other um, halls that partner up with Gibson to do a lot of programming and stuff, like especially Founders. We'll do stuff over there. Um, the RAs will help plan and stuff like that. Um, definitely go over to Grexon as well. That's where you guys get your packages. But also it's got a ping pong table, pool table. Um, that's all that stuff's over there. Their lounge space for y'all to use as well since you have access to that building. Um, so yeah, no, just to have, uh, hope. we look forward to having y'all here in a couple weeks and um, um, it's gonna be a great year. Um, we got a few more questions. Oh, okay. Uh, someone asked, can the beds be lofted with those shelves behind them in this room? In the ship. Yeah, I mean, they. Um, you can move the furniture around yeah. too. So if you can figure out a way to like move it away from the bookshelves and loft it, that works as well. Um, I know, like, with these beds, you can loft them yourselves up to here, but if you want to loft it additionally, like higher than that, you have to put in a maintenance request because they have to add like an extra piece. Um, but if you want to just loft it to that top portion of there, you can do it yourself and maybe just rearrange the beds a little bit, get with your roommate, figure something out. The fastest way to submit a work request to get your bed lofted is to go to Google and type in U-A-R-K and then fix it, F-I-X-I-T, and that'll lead you to a form. Yep. And if you forget, your RA is going to know that too. Mm -hmm. Talk to your RAs. That's my other advice. Talk to your <laughs> RA, okay? We, they, I was an RA. That's why I'm saying that. That's not why I'm saying that. RAs are really cool, so talk to them. They know a lot of stuff. They'll be really helpful. Um, Someone asked, can you measure the sink counter space on either side of the sink? Uh, there's a hand on the one minute. Oh, it turned off. So we got 33 inches, almost 34. And 25 inches. I think what they were asking for was this to that and then to that. <laughs> so we got eight inches. It's gonna be a little bit 
not exact. Oh no. Nine inches. All right. And she also asks, what is your direct email? I assume it's for asking questions, maybe? Um, they can uh, email you at housing at uark.edu, or they can email me as well um, if they have any additional questions after this uh, uh, video tour and stuff like that. So uh, my email is jdgemuen.edu. Um, so either me or housing, you can email us um, if you have any additional questions and stuff. And someone also asked, if they can't raise the bed, will they let you know? They should be able to raise yeah. the bed. It's just a matter of when it gets done, especially at the beginning of the year. There's going to be a lot of people asking for things, um, but you should be able to get the bed lofted. It just might take longer. We have more students coming in than usual. But the general rule has been if you get us that request by like today or tomorrow, like by the end of the month, we can usually honor it before they arrive. And someone was asking, what's the silver thing on the wall above the sink? Do all the rooms have one of those they TV do, mount? They do not. I think some of them have like a little overhead thing. It's not very many out of those rooms. It's just maybe a couple of them, but um, no, they do not. What is it? You put a TV up there. Yeah, it's just like a little space saver thing. Like they can uh, put stuff up on, but I think there's only like maybe a couple of rooms that even have that. Oh. It's just like a... Um, yeah, Unique, it's yeah, it's just, it's not in a lot of rooms. There's only like maybe a couple that have it. Usually it's just, there's nothing over there. It's really a cool plant up there. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's wrap. We can wrap it up now. All right. No more questions. Are we good? Awesome. Well, we'll see you all in a couple weeks and uh, have a good one.